you are about, about to about enter, to enter the, strange the strange world, 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 world of Mr. Of Mr. Davis. Mr. Davis. This story takes place about 15 years ago, so my memory may be a little skewed, but I'll try not to exaggerate too much. I was just getting into walking trails through the mountains, and my friend told me about one of the trails that go through the Rocky Mountains. Some were pretty challenging, but there were some that me, during that time, could take on. Nowadays, I doubt I could take on any trails. That's besides the point, though. I decided on a trail and began my trek towards the end. One thing I always remember is the views and just the whole feeling you get when you're going down some of those trails. Everything seems to slow down and you can really take in the world around you. It's always amazed me. I believe I was about one fourth of the way up the trail when I realized something was a little strange. Firstly, I hadn't seen anyone on this trail since I got on it. I know it was one of the easier ones, but surely parents would bring their kids with them, right? Even if not, I don't remember hearing others on trails semi-parallel to mine. I brushed it off, thinking it was nothing more than a coincidence. I tried to relish in the nature around me, and it worked for a good while. I reached the halfway marker and decided to take a seat and chill out for a little. I was still pretty new at this, so I was feeling it. While I was resting is when things got really strange. I started feeling really lightheaded, and I tried standing up again to regain myself but I lost balance and fell backwards. As soon as I felt my hand hit the ground to catch myself, I was back at the beginning of the trail. I was completely dumbfounded. How I ended up back here was beyond me. I looked all around to see if I really was where I thought I was, and yeah, I was right at the opening to the trail. What was even stranger was that when I looked around, I recognized everything from the first time I saw it. I saw the same kids running around, the same dogs being walked, but the real nail in the coffin was when I watched a car pull out and it had the same dent on the same side that I'd seen right before walking down the trail. I told myself I was losing it and probably against my better judgment, decided to go down the trail once again. This time I was feeling a little bit better. There wasn't any real explanation as to what had happened, but things seemed to be going better until I got back to the halfway point. I told myself to skip over it, even though I was feeling the fatigue from the first time I walked to the halfway point because I figured it would just trigger what happened again. To my absolute dismay, however, I stepped on a mossy root and sent myself straight to the ground. Again, as soon as my hand collided with the dirt, I was back at the top of the trail. The same car with the same dent pulling out of the same spot. The same kids were running around, the same dog was being walked. At that point, I got in my car and began driving away as far as I could. I didn't feel like dealing with whatever was going on down there. I've made it home fine, and I've never experienced anything like it since. So here recently, I've been having dreams that seem to be predicting the future. Nothing super significant, just small stuff, but it's getting me a little freaked out. It started about a week ago when I had a dream that my boss was going to give me a small raise. This wasn't too surprising given we'd had our evaluations. I expected a dream about it considering it was on my mind. However, the way it played out was the exact same way it did in my dream. That's another thing. These dreams are extremely vivid and at no point do I feel like I'm in a dream until I wake up. A few days after that, I had a dream that my tire would go flat, causing me to wreck. That was more of a nightmare, honestly. Either way, I was on my way to work the following day and for some reason had an overwhelming feeling to take the long way, back roads instead of highway. When I went on break that afternoon at work, there was a live news feed from the highway I would normally take. Someone had hit a large pothole in the road and wrecked. It was near fatal from what they could tell. Firefighters were cleaning up the rubble and the DOT was planning to come out and fill up the pothole later that day. That one really rattled me. As of now, that's the most notable one. But sometimes it's super small things like the milk going bad or even stepping on gum coming out of work. 
could it be that someone out there who's pulling the strings is trying to make my life easier for some reason? Like maybe they want me to survive to go through with something very important they have planned? I feel like I'm looking way too deep into this, but so far, all the dreams I've had have ended up happening in real life. What do you think? Am I thinking too deep into this? You know how sometimes you walk into a room and forget what you were going to do and what your intentions were? Yeah, that happened to me the other day, but kind of on an extreme level. I was in my studio working on something or another and got up to head to the kitchen. As soon as I broke the threshold of my studio doorway, I forgot why I got up. I stood there for a while trying to think about what I could possibly have needed. I wasn't hungry, I had my coffee already, no real reason for me to be in there. I sat back down and almost immediately remembered why I'd gotten up. So I got back up, a little annoyed that my mind had slipped for a second and headed back to the kitchen. I made it into the kitchen and had began heading over to the fridge to take something out for dinner when my foot slipped in a puddle of water and my head smacked against the counter. I felt the sting and heard the thud. I even saw the ceiling come to full view when I eventually hit the ground. I sat there for a second, unable to move, just staring at the ceiling until somehow I was standing in the doorway of my studio. A chill ran down my spine. It was like I was shown what was going to happen. I tried to brush it off as some weird occurrence and headed back into the kitchen anyway. I walked over to the fridge and felt something wet at my feet. Before I could look down, my feet slid out from under me and I nearly hit the ground, but I caught myself on the counter. My head was mere inches away from it. I don't know what the hell happened that day or even how I caught myself. My reflexes are about as good as a dead cat. Could it be that another reality where I was supposed to die played out by accident? Or did that actually happen and I just woke up in a different one, nearly exactly the same? This is going to be a really short experience, but there isn't really much to it. I was at the grocery store the other day and picked up one of those classic Coke bottles, the glass ones with the twist top. When I got home, I put it in the fridge to get it nice and cold while I played some PUBG in the other room. A few hours later, I decided I was ready to down the flavored syrup, so I went to the kitchen and cracked it open. I was leaning against the counter, sipping the Coke and browsing Reddit on my phone. I'd say I was about halfway finished with it when I had decided to put it back in the fridge for later. I'm not a big soda drinker, so I can't drink a lot at one time. When I went to do so, though, it was totally full and the cap was back on it. I was totally dumbfounded. Not really knowing what else to do, I opened it back up. To my surprise, it kind of popped like it does when the seal is first broken. I was a little spooked considering I could still taste the coke I drank from the bottle. I put it back in the fridge and went back to my room. Later that night, I went to get something out of the fridge for dinner. The coke was sitting there where I'd left it, but now it was only half full. I have no idea what the hell happened. I remember drinking the soda. I could even taste it in my mouth after it seemed to refill and close back up. I'm really confused. Yesterday, I was making dinner. I was just about finished, so I was reaching to get some plates. Being that I'm fairly short, I was struggling and ended up dropping one right onto the floor when I finally got off my tippy toes. I saw it fall to the ground, hit the ground, heard it shatter, but it didn't. Not really sure how else to say it. I watched the plate fall from my hand and hit the floor, stay intact, but I heard it shatter. I just stared at it, totally dumbfounded. What made this whole experience even stranger was that my husband, who was in another room, called out and said, You okay? I'll clean it up, don't worry about it. This told me that he had to have heard it as well. When he came into the kitchen, however, he was just as dumbfounded as I was to see a full intact plate sitting there on the floor. I explained what happened and he couldn't believe it. I saw it happen and can't believe it. Does anyone have a clue as to what could have happened here? <laughs> 